Joining us uh, now in a Closing Bell exclusive is Citizens Financial Group's chairman and CEO, Bruce Van Sorn. Bruce, great to see you again. Welcome back. Uh, it's my pleasure. Great to be here. So it's, a, it's another acquisition. Uh, you, you're, gonna, you, you're establishing quite a trend here. I mean, uh, talk us through the, the rationale for this particular one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for a long time, we wanted to uh, attack the New York uh, metro market. We had a hole in our footprint between the New England franchise and the Mid-Atlantic franchise. So we were successful in acquiring uh, the HSBC East Coast operation, which brought us 65 or so branches in the New York area. And then we went after investors is what we like to refer to as the one-two punch, because that brings uh, about 135 branches in the New York area, some additional branches in New Jersey and in the greater Philadelphia market. So it really helps complete that footprint for us. Uh, and investors also brings a small business customer base and middle market customer base, whereas HSBC was exclusively retail. So I think we have the foundation now to really go after this. We're a top 10 deposit market share in New York. Uh, the, the success that we've had in Boston and Philly and Pittsburgh, uh, I think, is uh, something we can replicate over time in New York. Uh, we can do more for these customers and grow our market share with time. So, so that establishes that particular regional market. What, what about elsewhere? Is, are you hitting pause now on the acquisition front? Or if you find more of these, uh, these sort of sized bolt-ons, would, would you be uh, um, active again in the market? Yeah, I think it's going to uh, take a while to bed these down. So at this point, uh, mission accomplished. We'll work hard to execute these well and get them launched in the right direction. Uh, we will continue to look at fee-based bolt-on acquisitions. So uh, we've been very successful there in terms of adding to our capital markets capabilities, our wealth capabilities. Uh, so we're not going to pause on those, but I think we're done for a while on the bank side. Bruce, out, outside the deals front, how would you characterize this current environment? We noted the stock price, which has done well. Financials had another good day, but have been a little bit under pressure lately with, with yields backing off. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, look, I think the economy is still very sound. Uh, it's been a little bit of a plateau given concerns over the Delta variant. But uh, we've seen in other uh, jurisdictions like the U.K. where when they opened up, uh, you saw a case surge and then it's come back down. So I think that'll calm down in the fourth uh, half, the fourth quarter, the second half of the year here. Uh, and then as we head into next year, I think the economy should continue to be very strong given the uh, pent up demand and all the fiscal stimulus and monetary stimulus that we've seen. So we're optimistic. Uh, we're seeing some good levels of uh, loan demand starting to pick up a bit in some of our consumer areas like point of sale finance and student loan finance. Uh, the, the corporate side is coming back a little more slowly, but at least we've seen stabilization on line of uh, credit utilization and we're starting to see a pickup in deal-related financing. So, again, uh, it's all coming. It's just a question of how fast.